Hi, this is Mandy from Life Your Way. Jessica from Life as Mom and I are doing a vlog series called Manage Your Paper Clutter. Today we're talking about digitizing your files, but before we get started, watch this short introduction to our sponsor, AboutOne.com. The Manage Your Paper Clutter series is brought to you by AboutOne.com. About One makes it easier to manage family life. More than a digital filing cabinet, it's one place to store family memories and household information. Visit aboutone.com today. Okay, so today we're gonna to talk about digitizing your paper files. First, let's talk about why you might wanna do that. Paper files take up a lot of space. Even if you only keep the important permanent documents such as um, agreements, insurance documents, mortgage documents, and tax receipts, you still have a pretty good amount of paper to keep. And it can be frustrating because if you're not at your file cabinet, you don't have access to those documents. So digitizing your files is a good idea. One, if you want to be able to access those files from anywhere. Two, if you want to get rid of the clutter or the space that your paper files take up. Or three, if you want to protect them in case of a fire or other natural disaster that might, um, you know, ruin your files. Don't worry about, you know, trying to catch up first before you can start with the present day documents. Go ahead and start with the documents that are coming into your house today. And then over time, you can catch up by scanning the documents that you already have filed. Okay, so once you go ahead and scan your documents, there are still a few that you'll need to keep the originals of. Birth certificates, social security cards, marriage certificates, you'll want to keep those originals in a fireproof box so that they're protected in case of accident because it can be a lot of work to replace those. There are other documents like mortgage documents and tax records that you might want to keep as well, but if you scan those, you don't really have to keep them. Um, it just may be more convenient if you ever need the paper documents for some reason. But I would go ahead, once we get these scanned, we plan to pack them up and put them in the attic. So we still have access to um, the mortgage documents especially because I probably won't scan the entire pack, just the important ones uh, and that type of thing. But at least they'll be out and my file cabinet can then be used for arts and crafts and finished projects that my girls do. I hope you'll join us for the rest of the Manage Your Paper Clutter series. Coming up, Jessica will be talking about how to organize your paper files if you don't want to digitize all of those. And we'll also be talking about the benefits of online storage. Join us and be sure to visit aboutone.com for help in managing all of your paper clutter.